This is a project that I wrote. You may have seen it before if you've come to ask gear for Delphi webinars, because I think I did it on the desktop first or some, some other conference, one of the many things that I uh, do webinars for. And this is all done with uh, Skier for Delphi as well. And any Star Trek fan will be able to tell you what this is. This is a imitation, shall we say, of a space computer, the LCARS interface. If you're a Star Trek original series fan, then you'll know immediately what that is. And what we've got here are some um, skier for Delphi controls. And if I hit LF11, you can see it's a skier animated image. And this one is an SVG. And uh, there's some more animated images here. These are LOTI animations. So they're basically a bit of XML and, and it draws the animations. These are just simple shapes, as you can see, T-shape and a few other things as well. In the background, there's some source to make things render. But let me just run that for a second so you can see what it looks like when it's running. Oops, oh dear, what did I do? Oh, I broke it, oh no. It was working the other day, no, what did I do? Ha, there you go. It, it, when I opened the project, it automatically added skier in there. So it's playing sounds in the background, which I'm just gonna turn off because we don't want those on but as you can see key things here are the font handling that skier does this is a klingon uh, custom font it doesn't say anything meaningful it's all random uh, text and uh, here's some colored fonts and then there's some nice uh, column fonts and uh, justified and all the rest of it here's some text there's your svg here's a nice custom star trek -y type font and the animations and all of this is done using open source stuff. I, I didn't create any of this myself. I just draw them all together, put them in the same place. But it's a simple little demo, but it gives you some idea of some of the things that just straight out of the box you can do. You can get much better animations than these. I just pick ones that look vaguely Star Trek-y, but it's very cool. And all of it's enabled by um, Skier for Delphi. You can download this from their website and uh, go to the repository. It's all open source. And uh, most of the code that you see there actually is really to do with generating like random lines of text. So actually it's nothing to do with the skier stuff. It's just because I wanted to show some plausible text on there. And there this, is a, this is a VCL yeah. sample too, right? Yes, this is a VCL sample. There is someone cleverly has raised a issue against my sample and said, do an FMX version. The difference between the FMX and VCL samples is that in the VCL, these animations here are not transparent. Okay, let me just turn the sound off. On the FMX, this planet background here would be transparent. You probably can't see it very well on the webinar, but this planet image has got a black background, which by default is transparent on FMX. And therefore the radar sweep actually seems to go around and hover over the top of the planet because I put the Z order so that the radar sweep was on top and it looked like the radar had detected the planet. But that's the only real difference um, between the FMX and the VCL versions. But yes, this is a VCL project and it's good to go you can use this out of the box and see some of the nonsense i did to uh, make it work but it gives you some indication of how to load custom fonts and lay it out put colors in and uh, play animations there's nothing difficult with the animations load the animation in and uh, get it to play same with the font their font handling is fairly easy there's a bit of uh, font handling here it loads in a open source font which i do reference in my notes i put an attribution in there from where i got it loads the font in uh, creates the font and then uh, chooses a yellow color and that's it that's your custom font loaded so it could be any font that you like i yeah, love the fact that, that you can load the font into your application it doesn't have to be installed on the computer that's that's a really big thing correct yes and and actually in my notes i actually put attributions where i got these from and that font library.org has got thousands of fonts i didn't find just one klingon font i found about 15. so if there's 15 klingon fonts you can bet there's all sorts of other types of uh, font that you could ever want i just go to my uh, github and get it there but actually it's a lot easier if you go to the skier for delphi.org um site and then go to the uh repository and they credit me there very nicely i didn't do any of the hard work i just wrote a simple little program they did all the hard work 